Hi, welcome to CORE. My name is Kat Thomas, and today we have 75 minutes together through an expressive yoga class. And uh, this is beginner friendly. You can take it a little spicier. I'll show some modifications for you. And if you want to follow along with the playlist that I put together called Bending, we're going to start with that. And I will begin in three, two, and one with the music. And if you'd like, we're going to start in an easy seated posture. So if you like to use props while doing this as well, you can place those just underneath the sit bones. And that actually helps you alleviate some pressure on the hips and even in the hamstrings. So if you're getting into meditation and such, these are really good ways you can put a pillow underneath there. If you don't have those things, even a pillow, you can always use the book or such. So let's find ourselves grounding down. Get yourself comfortable. Let the hands just rest. They can rest in your lap. We're going to take a nice deep breath in together. And exhale, let it release through the lips. Maybe let that sigh out as you begin to melt down into the mat. Let that belly just rest gentle. We're not trying to force anything here. Taking a deep breath in. And exhale, release. Begin to let the body melt as you release any tension, unserving attitudes and thoughts. And begin to allow the spine to lengthen, the crown of the head will be lifting towards the sky, as if there's a bright string of light just pulling you up. And start to close the eyes. And now seal the lips. Begin using that oceanic breath, slowing the currents of the mind, the blood, and the heartbeat down. Find your rhythm with the universe, breathing in through the nostrils and back out through the nose. The muscles in your face begin to soften and relax. Now place your hand on your belly, your right hand on the belly, the left hand covering, thumbs gently touching, and we begin to elongate through the spine even more. Feel the rise and fall as your currents slow down. Start to imagine a beautiful, rich, orange light. As you breathe it in, let it travel down to the belly, energizing, cleansing. Breathing rich, feeling bright orange light as it travels in through the nose, traveling down to the organs just below the belly, firing you up, rooting you down. And as you exhale, any challenges, anxieties, release them back to Mother Earth. Let's hold that space using that orange light throughout our session, invigorating our sensuality, reminding us of our humanity, our connection with animals,
And in this space, set your intention for your practice and for the day. As you take a deep inhalation through the nose, let it travel now out through the toes with your exhalation. Release the hands back to the legs. Perhaps the corners of your mouth now rise in gently. As you open your eyes, ready to invigorate each body part. Find your juiciness, find your sensuality in our practice today. And welcome everybody to Expressive Yoga. My name is Kat Thomas, and this is your core practice. If you've used a prop during your Sukhasana, just gently remove that, place it to the side. And let's root down through the sit bones. Just gently place the hands just outside of the knees. And we're going to inhale, arch the back, we'll reach the gaze forward, shoulder blades coming together behind us. Exhale, we're going to hollow out the back, drop the chin to chest, lower spine reaching for the mat. Inhale, breathing deep, let's warm up the spine. And exhale, release. Really begin to hear that oceanic current in the back of your throat as you exhale through the Ujjayi breath. And release steam back. Three more breaths here. One more breath. And exhale, let's hold here, keep a nice hollow back, and let's start just circling the body around. See if you can find one full breath, inhalation, exhalation, through one rotation of the body. Now you can do a new moon and just do little circles around. Crescent or half moon or full moon circle, really engaging the full body, rolling through the shoulders, coming all the way back and around, taking a deep breath in, and finish that rotation and float to the other side. Keep the sit bones rooted down. One more full breath, full rotation. Feel that sinuous spine, your sensuality awakening. And come back to center. Let's bring the shoulders up to the ears and release. Little sips now of air. Place your hands on your belly and begin to feel it engage and release. Now start to breathe in that small sip of air using the nose and release through the nostrils. Igniting our fire breath here. Five more breaths. One more breath and release, drop the hands, roll the shoulders up and back down the spine. And if you didn't feel the fire light, start practicing that breath because it really engages the breath inside the body. 
building up a little bit of steam, heating us up and letting us warm up just a little more quickly. Let's inhale, reach the arms high above us. Exhale, swing them back behind us, clasp the hands and draw the heart center up, drawing the hands down to the mat. Shoulder blades trying to kiss behind us. Stay with the shiny breath. And release the shoulders back to the center. Release the hand. Extend one leg out at a time. Spread them as wide as you'd like to be. Let's point and flex the toes. Make sure the sit bones are firmly planted in. And let's inhale, reach the arms high above. Exhale, turn to your left side and reach that left arm down. If your peace fingers can grab the big toe, flex that foot up. And then exhale, extend that right arm up and over the body. So we have a tendency to want to roll down. Make sure you're opening your heart center. Doesn't matter right now how far you're going, as long as your heart is open. Draw the navel in, breathe through any challenges here. Make sure that left foot is flexed. Binders can take your bind. Open yourself up. Stay connected with the sit bones. Two more breaths here. One more deep breath in and exhale. Inhale, star to elongate. Left arm meets the right. Smooth the spine out through one breath. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, bring that right peace finger down to the right big toe and extend that arm up and over the body. Honor your edge. Flex now that right foot. I don't know, I feel a lot of light and space entering through my cages here, giving my body and mind a chance to open even wider to the day, to the moment. One more deep breath in. On your next inhale, elongate through the spine, smooth it out for one breath as right arm meets the left. Inhale, elongate and exhale, forward fold. If you want to use your blocks or your props, go ahead and place them here. If you don't have blocks, sometimes I like to put my elbows down, make little pillows with my fists to protect that spine, flex those feet, and I get to walk my elbows out just a little further. Wherever you are in this moment, honor that. Take a few breaths here. Oh, maybe sigh as you release any challenges or tension throughout the mind and body. One more deep breath in as you exhale, walk the hands back towards the body as you elongate back through the spine. Inhale, reach the arms high above you and exhale, swing them back behind you. Place the hands flat, Fingertips facing the sit bones. Lift that heart center up. Try and straighten those arms. We're going to bring the legs out in front of us. Drop those feet down. And inhale, gently lift up, reverse tabletop. We're going to hold here. I'm just going to turn on my mat so you can start watching. So you want to lift those hips up, fingertips are spread wide on the mat, feet are flat down. We're going to inhale, just bring that right knee up, and then exhale, drop it down. Inhale, bring that left knee towards the body, and exhale, drop it down. Let's keep those toes pointed, keep the hips lifted. We've already got the fire in our body, let's extend it now to the arms. If you're feeling a little tingle here, accept and be happy about it. It'll make this so much more enjoyable. Keep the breath flowing. One breath for each raise. 
Two more breaths on each side. Keep lifting those hips. One more breath on each side. And exhale, slowly lower the sit bones back to the mat. Bring the heart center forward. Bring the knees in. Give yourself a big hug. Hollow out the back. Point the toes. Again, let that spine reach down towards the mat. And inhale, exhale, extend those legs out about six inches off the mat. Point the toes. And lean back slightly, bring the arms up parallel to one another, palms facing each other. Draw the shoulders back so we retract them back. Draw the navel in. And inhale, bring the knees in towards the heart center. And exhale, release. Inhale. Exhale. Nice, slow, powerful movement. If this is too much, go ahead and just hold here in low boat. You can make it a little spicier today. If you don't want spice, you don't need to have it. And for four more breaths. Integrating the full body warm up here. And one more deep breath. And exhale, draw the knees back in, hollow out the back. One more time here. Beautiful. Cross up the ankles and roll yourself into tabletop. If that's a little challenging, just swing the legs over and around. Come into tabletop. Let's make sure we're getting ourselves set up. Place the hands flat on the mat. Wrists are in line with the shoulders. And let's just rock the heart center slightly over the fingertips. And exhale, drop back. We're going to warm up the hands, warm up the wrists. Inhale as you reach forward. And exhale, drop back onto the ankles. Inhale forward. And exhale, release. And come forward one more time. Come back to center. Draw the navel in. Nice flat back. And let's flip the hands over, fingertips facing the knees. And we're just going to hold here. Stay still. Draw the navel in and feel a nice stretch. You can make a little fist and release with your hands. Two more breaths. And exhale, gently flip those hands back over and come back to tabletop. So inhale, extend that right arm, palm facing down, fingertips right wide. If you want, you can extend full balance tabletop, that left leg, toes pointing. Make sure your hips don't bend side to side, even them out. We're going to hold here for four breaths. Two more breaths. Use that Ujjayi breath. And exhale, gently drop that palm, drop that knee, smooth the spine through a breath. And then inhale as you extend that left arm, you can extend that right leg or just use the arm. Again, you want to make sure your form is good. Flat back, belly drawn in, hips are even. It's amazing how just a little move can do so much. Two more breaths. One more deep breath in, and as you exhale, drop the palm, drop the knee. Just drop back real quick into your child's pose, and then inhale, hollow up, come back to tabletop. Inhale, extend that right arm out, extend the left leg, and exhale, knee and elbow come in as you hollow up the back. Inhale, and 
exhale. So we're gonna move through this a little quicker. We're gonna use our power breath as we steam it in, really curling that back, dropping the chin, connecting knee and elbow. So let's steam the breath like shh, 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 shh. Three more breaths. And on this last breath, hold here. Push off with that left hand. Keep that leg elevated. And drop the palm first. We're gonna bring that left knee forward between the thumbs. Extend that right leg back behind us. And we're just gonna rock gently side to side. Start opening up those hips. Don't roll off that right knee though. Stay there. And inhale, as you exhale, draw that right foot in towards the body. Inhale, reach that right arm up above you and draw the foot in even more. If you'd like to add that spine, elongate through the spine, extend that left arm back, thumb and pointer finger connecting. Honor your edge. Draw the navel in, keep the breath flowing. Two more breaths here. One more deep breath. If you had your foot up to the sit bones, gently release. Bring the palms back down between the knees. Exhale, drop the forehead down in front of that left knee. <sighs> and inhale, lift the heart center, curl that back leg. Bring the left to meet the right. Join me in your first plank. Again, let's find our form here. Hands are flat, fingertips are spread wide, shoulders distance apart, rolling the heart center forward. Draw the navel, the whole core in. On your next exhale, draw that right knee between the thumbs, soften to the left knee and the back of the left foot. Draw it back behind you. Square the hips, square the shoulders towards the front. If you want to add that spice, go ahead and draw that left foot into the sit bones. Extend that left leg back. Bring it in a little closer. Extend the crown of the head upwards. Right arm comes up, pointer and thumb gently touch. Keep the breath flowing. Two more breaths here. And exhale, release if the foot was up. Palm come down. Exhale, release down that forehead in front of the right knee. Inhale, lift the heart center and just gently rock side to side here. Remember, don't roll off that knee. And curl that left foot, lift the body, right leg comes back, join me back in plank. Take a deep breath in and exhale, drop one knee at a time, come back to tabletop. Extend that left arm, extend the right leg, set yourself up, nice strong tripod here and steam out the breath, elbow to knee. Shh, shh, hollow out the back, shh. Three, 
message behind you and in front of you. Three more breaths. And hold here. Really push off from that right hand. Keep that right knee lifted high. Exhale, drop that left hand and extend that right leg far behind you. Come onto the ball of the foot. We're going to inhale, just roll over onto the right side. Extend that right arm sky high. Gaze goes up to the right middle finger. If you want to add some spice, you can extend that left leg out as well. Onto your edge. Wherever you are, you want to lift that hip up sky high. Because we have our hearts open to the world, let's use that sound breath of feeling like H-A. Feel it reverberate through the torso, cleansing the lungs, shaking away any cobwebs from the heart center. And lift a little higher. Three more breaths. One more deep breath in as you exhale. Slowly bring that right palm down. Join me back in plank. Heart center coming up and over the fingertips. Moving at the spine and then exhale. Slowly roll over to the other side. Now, if you wanted to take that modification, drop that leg. Open yourself up either way. Gaze goes up to the ceiling. Lifting those hips sky high. Really feel the connection of the right hand now on the mat. Three more breaths. One more deep breath in as you exhale slowly. Bring that left palm down, roll back to your plank, and start to lower into your chaturanga. Lowering all the way down to the belly. Let the rib cage fall down, soften to the back of the feet. And let's first extend those arms out, drop the forehead, reach the arms in front, reach the toes back behind you. And bring the arms now to your sides, fingers together, shoulder blades trying to reach behind you. Point the big toes towards one another and lift the legs. So your pelvic floor and your lower rib cage are still connected to the mat. You're squeezing through the glutes, big toes pointing towards one another, fingertips stretching to try and reach those toes. If you want to add that spice, go ahead and lift the top portion of your beautiful body. Or you can just stay with the forehead on the mat. Honor your edge. Lifting those legs higher. Stretching those fingertips to meet the toes. Keeping them pointed in. And let the breath guide you here in Lotus. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Beautiful job. One more deep breath in and exhale. Drop the legs first. Drop the forehead. Let the hands come on either side of the heart center. Inhale. Lift baby cobra and roll the shoulders back. Feet are flat on the mat. Elbows are close to the body. Fingertips are spread wide on the mat. And exhale, slowly release. Inhale, lift, baby cobra. Roll those shoulders back. And exhale, release. Deep breath in, inhale, upward dog. Cobra. Honor your edge. If you can lift off from the mat, go ahead and do that, but don't hurt your back. 
Take a deep breath in, engage the navel, and start to rock the body back to the child's pose. Let's rock the hips side to high side. Keep the arms out, stretch. Come up on the fingertips. Stretch out the shoulders. And on your next inhale, engage the navel, rise back to tabletop, curl the toes under, press off, run the front hand, spread the fingers. You're going to drop the head. We're going to bring the knees up to connect with our torso as we slowly bring the hips sky high, drop the heels, move into downward facing dog. Draw the navel in, push off from the hands, lengthen through the spine. Roll the elbows in. It'll take a lot of pressure off your shoulders. You can feel the difference when the elbows are trying to point out to when you're rolling them in. Beautiful. Two more breaths here. Maybe give the head a little shake. And as you inhale, reach the gaze forward, come up on the tippy toes and start to walk them up to the hands. See if you can tap the wrists a little bit here. It's a nice fun one. As you forward fold, slight bend in the knees. Inhale, raise tall and strong, palms together down to your heart center, gaze upon the fingertips. Come to the forward part of your mat. Going through four sun salutations together, taking our time, really focusing on the breath and our form. Inhale, reach the arms high above you, and exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway raise. Exhale, drop the hands. Let's walk first, the feet back behind us. Set yourself up in plank. Inhale, start to move into Chaturanga, and then upward dog, and then exhale back to downward dog. Hold here for a breath. Inhale, reach the gaze in front. You can walk or float the feet between the fingertips. Big toes can come together. Angles are spread slightly. Inhale, reach those beautiful wings high above you. Slight back bend if you want. And exhale, draw the hands down to your heart center. Inhale, reach the arms high again. And exhale, swan dive down. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway raise. Nice flat back. Exhale, drop the palm. If you're jumping back to plank, make sure you're jumping to a low plank. And then move through your vinyasa. Back to downward dog. Let's move through two more sun salutations at your own pace. Honor your edge. Take those breaths. Float forward if you can. Exhale. Inhale, reach those beautiful arms high above you. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, swan dive down. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway raise. Exhale, drop. Finishing up one more. And join me when you're finished in your downward facing dog. Walk your dogs out, pedaling those knees into the heart center, gaze under the opposite arm.
Okay, and everybody now join me in the center. Inhale, reach the gaze forward. We're going to bring that right foot between the hands. Find your way there. If you want to make sure your block is near you, if you like using props, go ahead and do that because we'll be doing a few lunges here. We're going to inhale, elongate through the spine as we reach those beautiful wings high above us. Let the arms float out, drop the shoulders, pinkies turn in. That left leg is nice and strong and tall. Now, while you're here in lunges, you want to really scissor those thighs in. So rolling them in towards one another. You're going to create a lot of safety and strength for your spine. It engages the core. And we're just going to slowly exhale as we drop that knee down to the mat and inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Little pulses down. So let's use that little sip of air that we did earlier, that fire breath. Little. Four more breaths. One more breath and come back to center. We're going to straighten that front leg. Drop that foot about 45 degrees. You can actually bring that foot in a little more. I know I need to with my modification. Square the hips towards the front, shoulders towards the front, and exhale, move into warrior one. Now, for all of you out there that don't have any hip issues and can sink a little further, go ahead and do that. If you are sinking a little further, just make sure that knee doesn't go over the big toe. Three more breaths. Beautiful. One more deep breath in as you exhale. Straighten that front leg. Inhale, bring the palms together and exhale, draw them down to your heart center. Now you can hold here if you want a little more balance. You can bring your hands to your hips. We're going to elongate through the crown of the head and exhale, start to drop down. If you want, you can always give yourself a little bit of love by putting the block inside the foot. Honor your edge. If you need to bring that foot in even more, go ahead and do that. This is your pose. Feel those hamstrings opening up and releasing. Two more breaths here. One more deep breath in. And wherever you are, placing the hands down on the floor inside the foot. So if you are using your block, go ahead and drop that so you can place both hands down inside the foot. You can have a slight bend in the knee if you need to. You're going to turn that left foot so it's facing the front. And we're just going to walk that right foot out to the outer edge of the right side of the mat. We're going to soften to that left knee, soften to the back of the foot, and extend that leg back. Shoulders are square to the front. Navel is drawn in. Use that breath to move through the challenges. For those that want to take this a little further, you're going to take your right hand, place it inside the right thigh, 
and gently roll that foot over to the outer edge, gaze goes up and over the right shoulder. Don't put it anywhere on your knee. <sighs> Let's open ourselves up. Two more breaths. One more deep breath in. If you extended that knee out, gently rock it down. Foot comes back flat to the mat. Palm comes down. Hold here, smooth the spine out through your breath. And let's curl that back foot, lift the body up and swing that right leg back to meet the left. Guide yourself into plank. Draw the navel in. Take a deep breath and exhale back to downward facing dog. And let's inhale, reach the gaze forward. As you exhale, draw that left foot between the hands. Find your way there. Square the shoulders, square the body towards the front. Inhale, elongate through the spine, bring those beautiful arms sky high. Spread them out, pinkies turning in, drop the shoulders down, lift high off that right heel. Follow the foot. Really plant that left foot into the mat. Squeeze both sides in towards one another. And we're gonna take that little fire breath as we slowly Pulse down to the mat. Four more breaths. And hold here. Slowly start to straighten that front leg. Remember, you can bring the hands to your hips as you bring that right foot in. About 45 degree angle, honor your edge. Make sure you're squaring yourself back to face the front. Elongate through the crown of the head and exhale, start to walk yourself over. Again, you can have your hands in prayer. They can be on your waist where you can bring your block to where you need it to be. Sending that heart center down. Gazing at those beautiful toes of yours. Feel your body opening and acknowledging that you are making a difference. Two more breaths. Take a deep breath in as you slowly rise once again. We're gonna sink into the knee of the left foot and rise those arms up, move into warrior one. Adjust as needed. Again, I modify because I had hip surgery, so you may need to move your own foot back. I need to keep mine forward. Wherever you are, just keep your breath flowing, open your heart up. Two more breaths. And take a deep breath in, and everybody, we're gonna to start to lower the palms down. If you're using your block, make sure both hands can fit on the block, placing them on the inside of that left foot, turning the right foot towards the center, walking that left foot out to the edge of the mat, softening to the right knee, softening to the right foot. You can move it back if you want a further stretch, honor your edge. Lifting the gaze and the heart center forward, you can hold here, if you want to add that little bit of spice rolling to the outside of that left foot, 
and gently pressing into that left thigh. Again, don't touch the knee. Reach the gaze up and over the left shoulder. Open that heart center. Use that HA heart breath. Three more breaths. One more deep breath in. I don't think I know how to count today. And exhale, slowly flatten that left foot if it was turned up. Drop that palm down, curl that right foot, lift the body. Swing that left leg around, join me in plank. And then let's come down onto our forearms. I live in the desert, so I like to be a little sphinx here. Spread the fingers wide. Bring the heart center forward, draw the navel in. Four more breaths here, you can do it. One more deep breath. And let's exhale as we lift up, come back to downward dog. Walk the feet in if you need to, drop those heels. You can walk the dog if you want. Beautiful. And walk the feet in now if you didn't already. A little closer to the body, really push off from the hands. And then exhale, draw that right hand back to tap the left ankle. Hold here and twist, reaching the gaze up and under that left arm. And take a deep breath in and exhale, slowly bring that right hand back to the mat. Smooth out the spine, make sure you're pressing in, drop the head, give it a little shake, and then exhale, bring that left hand to the right ankle, twist and turn, gaze up and under that right arm. Keep pressing off from the hands, dropping those heels down. Deep breath in, as you exhale, slowly bring that left palm back to the mat. Drop the head, inhale, reach the gaze forward, walk or float the feet between the hands, forward fold. Inhale, halfway raise. Exhale, drop forward fold, nice bend in the knees as you slowly roll, tall and strong, rising nice and tall. Big shoulder roll back, beautiful. And let's inhale, reach those wings sky high. Hold them up here, drop the shoulders. Let's bring the feet out a little further, just to the edge of your mat, perhaps. Bring the palms together. Shoot a beautiful color of your choice into the sky. And let's keep those arms connected like we have little magnets inside our ears and on our arms. We're gonna take a nice deep bend Keep the butt coming inwards and exhale, elongate through the crown of the head and exhale, nice flat back. Feet are facing forward. Keep the navel drawn in. And if you want to add that extra spice, lift the right heel and then lift the left heel. Use one breath for each motion or just hold here with both feet flat. Sink a little deeper if you can. Two more breaths. One more deep breath in, almost. And exhale, release, forward fold. You can stay with the bend. 
give the head a nice big shake. Maybe saying yes to your sensuality, your juiciness today. And release a big sigh. Oh, yes. Release. Shake it out. And bring the hands in towards the body. We're going to try and see if we can connect the inside of our forearms with the insides of our legs. We're just going to rock gently forward and back. Kind of get that feeling as if we were going into our crow. And for those that want to take crow, go ahead, take a little flight. If not, stay in your sink. We've got four more breaths here. Two more breaths. And exhale, crows come out. Everybody forward fold, begin to straighten the legs. Whew. Shake out the head again. And bring yourself the, excuse me, bring your chin into your chest. Hollow out the back. Slight bend in the knees. Let the arms float down as you slowly roll back up again. Connect one vertebra at a time. And roll the shoulders back. Beautiful. Feet are now hips distance apart. Let's bring that right arm out across the body. Keep the shoulders back. You can guide with your left hand. Bring the thumb and the pointer fingers together, the palm of your right hand facing the back wall behind you. And really use your ujjayi breath now. Start to slow the heartbeat once again. Deep breath in, release it. Extend the arms up, cross at the wrist. Palms come together. Take a deep breath in, elongate and switch. Left arm across the body, palm facing the back wall, thumb and pointer together. We feel the difference of the heart now that it's beating softer. Your muscles in the face have relaxed. Perhaps you can hear things a little brighter, a little better. And inhale, we'll reach those arms up above. Switch opposite palms together, crossing at the wrists. Inhale, elongate, exhale, release the arms, roll out the wrists. And come to Tatasana. Palms come up, pelvic floor reaching towards the face. Thighs rolling in. Bring your attention and awareness to that orange light that's been bringing fire, passion throughout the body for this whole practice. awakening all the cells. It's okay if all of our cells feel juicy and sensual, no matter where they are in the body. Breathe in orange light and release the hands. Inhale, reach high above you. Exhale, slight bend in the knees. Swan dive down. Inhale. Halfway raise. Exhale, drop the palms. You're going to walk the left foot back. Stay on the ball of the foot. Palms on either side of that right foot. Bend the knee. And if you want to use your props here, go ahead and grab those. I like to put mine on the outside of 
my right foot here. We're going to start to press into that right foot, extend that left foot straight behind us and flex the foot. You can even bring your block out in front of you if you want to add that extra bit of safety here. So you can have a nice flat back. We want those hips to be evened out. And you don't need props. You can actually use the wall if you ever want to try and do this on your own. If you can reach the floor, go ahead and do that. Or if you want to go into warrior three and extend the arms out in front, go ahead, we'll reach for the sky. Honor your edge wherever you are today. Two more breaths. On your next exhale, let that left foot float down and forward fold. Inhale, halfway raise. Exhale, drop again and start to set yourself up. Bend into this left knee. Extend that right leg out. Square the hips, square the shoulders to the front, draw the navel in, begin to ascend wherever your body would like to be today. If you're using a prop here, out in front of you, if you want to extend into your warrior three, go ahead and do that. I'm feeling very shaky today. We've got two more breaths here. And exhale, release the hands back to the mat. Let that right foot float down, forward fold. And take a nice deep bend. Let the torso touch the thighs and come up onto the balls of the feet. Hollow out the back and slowly start to sink down to the mat. You can help with the hands. Bring the sit bones down. Knees come in, point the toes, hollow out the back. And we're gonna rock and roll. So gently let the body come back and come up. See if you can keep the feet off the mat as you do this. Four more rocks and rolls. And on your last rock, you're gonna come up, keep the legs extended and hovering above the mat. Bring the heart center in a little further. And then bring those knees up parallel to one another, point the toes. You can help by drawing the bottoms of the thighs into your heart center. Adding some spice, you can extend those arms, reach back the shoulders behind you. Bring that heart center up. Four more breaths here. It's a good shake, a thumb. And on your next exhale, slowly start to lower down. You can let the feet drop first and connecting one vertebrae at a time. Roll yourself back down, shoulder blades, shoulders, and finally your head. Bring the feet in a little closer to the sit bones. Forearms are down. Fingertips are spread wide, but that's off from the feet, lifting the hips sky high. We're going to start to roll the shoulders inward, like you want them to kiss while you're on the mat. Bring the hands together, clasping them and drawing them down to the mat. If anybody wants to come into wheel, you're going to bring the hands behind you on either side of the ear. 
You're going to lift up, reaching the hips up. Let the head drop. We're holding for four more breaths wherever you are. Two more breaths. And we'll start to lower the head down. Roll back out. And everybody sink the sit bones back down to the mat. Draw the knees in one at a time. Big toes touching. Keep the knees spread open. And bring the bottoms of the feet together. You can help by using your hands and cupping the outside. Draw them down towards your pelvic bone. Keep the lower back secured onto the mat. And release. Extend that right leg out, point the toe, keep the left knee in, drawing it in from the shin. Shoulder blades are flat on the mat. Inhale through the center. Exhale, we're going to drop that left knee over to the right side. You can extend that wing out, palm facing down, gaze to the left side. Now, if this is a little too much, just bring both knees together and drop down to one side. Inhale, engage the navel as you roll back to center, right knee meeting the left, draw them in, and let's rock gently side to side. Take a deep breath, extend that left leg, point the toe, right knee stays in towards the body. Inhale through the center and exhale, drop to the left side. Arm can reach out, palm down, gaze to the right hand. Take a deep breath in, engage the core, come back to center, both knees drawn in, roll it around, massage the kidneys, smooth out the spine. Take a deep breath in, extend as you exhale, those feet up towards the ceiling, flatten them as the arms come down to your sides. And holding here, keep them nice and straight and tall, and then point and flex. And let's keep that left leg flexed. We're actually going to bring that right leg over and around so the ankle or the shin is just above that left knee. We're going to thread the needle here. So take that right arm, 
thread it inside that little nook of the right leg. And you can start to bend that left knee 90 degrees. You can wrap that other hand around and draw it in soft and gentle towards the body. Make sure both feet are flexed. Lower back is against the mat. Inhale, exhale, extend that left leg straight above you. Bring the right to meet the left. Smooth out the spine. Let the arms float down. Flex and point the toes. And flex that right foot. Exhale, drop that left leg down. Make sure you're not on the knee. Flex both the feet. And start to thread the needle as you bend that right knee. Strong that knee in towards the heart center. Shoulder blades are flush. Take a deep breath in, exhale, straighten that right leg, extend the left to meet the right. Once again, draw the knees back in, point the toes, give yourself another big hug. And let's extend those legs out. You can place the hands just underneath the sit bones, point the toes and let them hover about four to six inches off the mat. Really drive that lower spine down into the mat. If you wanna add a little bit of extra spice, you can bring the, the shoulders up off the mat slightly, drop the chin to chest, protect the spine. And know we can do it together. Eight breaths here. Almost there. You can always drop down if you need to. Remember, shaking just reminds you how alive you truly are. Two more breaths. And inhale, exhale, draw the knees in towards the body and rock gently side to side once again. And we're just gonna roll up, give our neck a little bit of love, cross the ankles. Inhale, reach that right arm high above us, and we're just going to take a gentle hold. So we want to make sure we're not lifting the shoulder up. We're going to let that rest down so that left hand can come down to the mat. We're just going to gently move the hand so it pushes the head slightly over to the right side. You should feel just a nice gentle stretch through the left neck. And inhale, release, come back to center, drop that right hand down. Inhale, reach that left arm high above and take gentle holds, stretch out the right side. Inhale, 
Inhale and release. Take a deep breath and exhale, drop chin to chest. Make sure you're not lifting the shoulders up, let them drop. Inhale back through the center and exhale, drop the head back. Inhale back to center. And it is time now to let the body melt back into Mother Earth. So however you want to make your way down to the mat, if you want to add one more little bit of spice, you can extend those arms and legs out in front of you. Roll yourself down one vertebra at a time until finally the shoulders and the head relax. Arms come down to your sides. And then with your next exhale, release the legs down. <sighs> Let yourself melt. <sighs> All that fiery orange energy has now cleansed through the body, circulated through the organs, the muscles, the joints, ligaments, tendons. Your whole body is juicy and awake now. But your mind wants to rest, so allow that in this moment. Taking a deep breath in. And exhale a big sigh as you release gratitude now. mind has begun to wonder. Follow the count of the breath as you breathe in. One, two, three, four, and exhale. Four, three, two, and one. Inhale. One, two, three, Four, exhale, four, three, two, and one. Breathe in, one, two, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, one. mind begins to see and acknowledge a beautiful space, one filled with hope, love, purity. These are all part of your sensuality. You are a pure being of light and energy, curving through each moment. the corners of your mouth rise as you acknowledge this existence, your beautiful self, sensual, creative. As your mind fills with this acknowledgement and light, you begin to wiggle the fingertips and toes. 
placing your right hand and your left over your beautiful heart. Now bringing the connection of spirit, mind, and body as you acknowledge its beating presence, filling you with life and energy. And when you're ready, gently release the hands, rolling over onto one side. Give yourself a warm hug. Smile as you acknowledge your sensual juiciness on this planet, one that is pure, energized, and full of hope. And when you're ready to share that, join me in an easy seated posture as we seal intentions, our practice. We acknowledge just how beautiful we truly are. And we bring those intentions and our hope to the planet with three resonating ohms. As we take a deep breath in. Oh. 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 for our lives, families, jobs, friends. I ask that we are blessed in peace, harmony, blister, love, and light. Namaste.